Okay, so in this video, what I'm just going to be showing is um, how you can see it's obvious that Muslims do uh, worship Muhammad, but of course they just won't say it, but then they won't say it, but then on their websites they will say it. So this is just some sites I'm going to go through just to show you what, what they're saying. So this one is first one's talking about the description of the best of creation. Now, whatever that means, um, you know, you'd wonder, best of creation, well, best of creation is only, would only happen with a God who's unfair. But a God who's fair, well, all the creation is going to be the same, and he's never going to have, like, a best in terms of making them better than the others. And so this one says, well, it says, imagining the beloved descriptions of the best of creation, and... He said that to no person, so yeah. It says, Muslims are obliged to love the messenger of Allah more than even their own selves. Yeah, well, that's, that's, in, a, um, that's in a hadith, because if I remember in the Quran, it doesn't even, it doesn't even get, say his name. And so we've got descriptions here. So what they, it's like what they're saying is that if you look nice, then that means you're better than someone who is deemed as not looking nice. So this is according to Muslims. So well, you could say that's a bit of racism there. So they're trying to say that he's, th th he has good properties about him in, you know, in human properties. And this is most common. So what I'm, what I'm just going to show you, because it's probably easier if you just read these sites yourself. But I just want to show that they're here. Because a lot of them take a while to read through. And obviously this site is about trying to get your money, as you can obviously see. But I'd say this is the important one, because obviously Islam QA is an authoritative site. And whatever they say, this is what scholars agree with. And so here it says, is there any evidence that our Prophet Muhammad is the best of creation? And let's see, this was asked in 2007 or published in 2007 anyway. So they're going to do the same thing, going through a whole heap of um, things, especially this. Yeah, see, this is from Sahih Muslim. And it's interesting that he says, I'll be the leader of the sons of Azam on the day of resurrection. Okay, so that's his claim. But notice he's not saying that um, Allah has made it known. He just said that I'm going to be, almost like he's thinking it up himself. But this is what I don't get. It says... See, when you read this hadith, this one in Sahih Muslim, I'll be the leader of Sons of Azam, and the first one of whom the grave is open, and the first one to intercede, and the first one whose intercession will be accepted. Right, okay. So he just made a statement there, because he's trying to be like Jesus, obviously. And then the scholar says, this hadith indicates that he is superior to all creation. Okay. Because the view of Allah al sunnah is that humans are better than the angels and he is the best of all humans and others. End quote. Right, so they're saying, these are scholars who they're going to now quote, is um, that's the Shafi, um, Al-Razga al-Musnaf, this is Ibn Taymiyyah, this the self-proclaimed Sheikh, and Ibn al-Qayyim is, is his student. And so there's a few, a few of them mentioned here. No, it's funny enough, there's no mention of any companions, but like, who cares? It says, the, the scholars of the Standing Committee for Issuing Fatwas were asked, should we say that the Prophet is the best of mankind or the best of creation? Is there any evidence that he is the best of creation, as many people say, or as Muslims say, obviously? And it says, many texts in the Quran and Sunnah speak of the greatness of our Prophet and his sublime status before his Lord may he be exalted through the noble attributes and unique characteristics that Allah bestowed only upon him, which indicates that he is the best of creation, the most honored by Allah and the greatest in status before him. But you'd have to question that because isn't Isa, Isa is able to raise the dead and to create life. So status-wise, Isa is greater in terms of what, what he can do. But status wise and sure enough, yeah, obviously, um, Muhammad is, is much higher. So like, here's Allah sent down to you the book and Al Hikmah and taught you that which you know and ever yeah, I don't really know. So I'm taking my time on this one because this is the authoritative site. 
um, to see actually what they're, if they're actually saying. Hmm. Yeah, they're making the statement, but they want to be on the safe side. You should say Muhammad is a leader. In the, yeah, you see, he's, he, what he's doing is to be on the safe side, They, should, they all they should do is quote what the hadith said. So when they try to say anything above what the hadith says, then that means they're actually adding their own spin on it. So this shows you that this this Muhammad worship, yeah, look, see, this, this guy is correcting them now. He says, he did not say above all of those whom we have created. Therefore, it is better for a person to adhere to what is mentioned in the text and not go beyond that. So so you see that? So so this this sheikh, this sheikh here, he's actually being safe. So he's being safe Rather that where one of the other ones are going beyond what is written, but he's saying no, no, Muslims shouldn't actually do that. So the next one, so all right, so let's see if these Muslims go beyond the advice given by some of these these um, scholars. All right, so this is another question: created the whole universe for the love of Prophet. Yeah, is it true that how can we explain the verse saying that jinn were created only? All right, so you see this hadith. This isn't one of the Bukhari Muslims hadith. It's um. This is Al Hakim in Al Mustadrak, and by Al Bayhaki in Dali Al Nubuwa, and it's from the narration of Umar ibn Al Katam. Yes, yeah, so, so this is a hadith, and it's not even from uh, Bukhari or Muslim, and yet they're willing to use these hadiths just so that they can they can try to worship him. So it shows you how desperate they are, and. See, yeah, it's talking about the same, that same hadith again. Because what he's trying to do, he's trying to get around the fact that it's the, um, well, he's actually saying there's a contradiction, because the question is saying there's a contradiction between saying that he created the whole universe for the prophet, for the love of their prophet, but then the verse is saying that the jinn and human beings were created only for the worship of Allah. Yeah, not, not their prophet. And of course, now this page is going to go into this long explanation to, to try to bend it around so that it's still okay to, um, to, to worship him. And then let's go to the last page. And I think this is the worst one, if I remember, because they want you to give money to some sheikh. You know, I don't know why. Can you don't lie to the light of your prophet that night? Rest in... Yeah, see, look, yeah, this, this, this site is bad. All creation is from the light of Prophet Muhammad. So this is using, and I don't even know what, um, no, someone might say this is a Shia site, maybe it is, because I, I can't really tell. Yeah, I think these might, this Nur Muhammad, I think these guys, obviously they're Muslims, but it looks to me like these are some different guys because they're not quoting this is how you can kind of tell. If you look on the site and they're not quoting Sunni scholars, then that means there's something else. Because the main ones they're supposed to quote are obviously uh, Hanafi, Shafi, Maliki, and Hanbali. So if you don't see those names quoting, that means they're, it's most likely that they're not um, Sunnis. And the fact that we're in these white hats. Yeah, so, so, so these guys are obviously Muslim. But, they, they're using their own writings. And this is the thing is that, so what it really comes down to as far as I can see is that they do worship him and some will say it more than others. But what they'll do is they'll, if you, if you try to ask a Muslim directly, they'll give you a clever answer or most of them will just go by what this sheikh at the bottom has said here. So, so this, this, any, any Muslim which will try to avoid saying that they worship him will just go by this statement. But then the ones who do want to worship him, they'll just look for something else. Because obviously this, these guys do want to say that he's the greatest of creation. While some of these guys do, but this guy's being safe. So what it comes down to is that when you say this to a Muslim, it really just depends on what they want it. Yeah, yeah, if, if it's a proper, brainwash one, then they'll have their excuses for why he's the best of creation. And if it's one who's playing it safe, like this one, this guy down here, then they'll just say, no, what it says is just, it do, it's just what the hadith says, and that's all they're going to go by.
Israelites will return to take down Islam.